in the controversial news series, a teacher from FX on Hulu, Kate Mara plays one of those teachers. The show takes on the complex grooming that happens in these relationships and the subsequent trauma that can last a lifetime. Kate Mara joins us from Santa Fe and from Los Angeles, the creator, Hannah Fidel. Thank you both for joining us. I'm going to tell you, I think you already know this, not breaking news here. You are going to have the internet on fire. People will greatly debate <laughs> this character, Kate, and, and I think <sighs> struggle, struggle with processing her actions. Yeah, I think you're definitely right. Um, and that was something that we knew when we started making this years ago. Um, but I think it's a really important story to tell. Oh, it, it, it's critical. I mean, because it continues to happen. I know uh, you yourselves, both of you, did a little research. Hannah, obviously, you did extensive research on the topic and, and lived so much of this firsthand. And this is not a one-off. This is something, it doesn't matter what community you live in, it doesn't matter if it's rural or big city, this happens. It, it does, and, and um, something that we learned as we were writing the show is, you know, there's no organization that's tracking this. Mm. So mm. for us, it, we really relied on Google searches, and it just happens, sadly, all the time. Um, and I hope that this show helps to spark a conversation about its prevalence, um, about the double standard of how we see predators and and uh, survivors. And, you know, I think it's also um, what we hope to do was was really have the audience go on the journey with Eric, who plays the student, mm -hmm. uh, because that's so much a a part of, you know, his process in realizing what is happening to right. him. Well, that gets and lost so often. I mean, listen, I, we saw, what was it, last year, the surviving R. Kelly and the surviving Jeffrey Epstein. Those are different circumstances, but nevertheless, adults who take advantage of young people. Kate, with your character, I know you've talked about really trying to understand or properly portray why she made a series of bad choices. Do you think that we look at the predator when they're female through the lens of bad choices versus how we see men, male teachers who are accused of these actions? Oh, I think that's a really um, good question. And I think that this show is, I think this show sort of opens those questions up to people um, to see sort of how you react as an, as an audience member, um, really thinking to yourself, would I react in this way if it was a male teacher or would I have different judgments on them? Um, I think it's probably um, maybe people have different responses to that. I don't, you know, I don't know. Does that, well, I do. I know they do because I, I've, as a journalist for 30 years, I've watched people and Hannah, you were a survivor of sexual abuse and trauma. Oftentimes when it's a young male, sadly, people still say, oh, wow, he was lucky or it was what he must have wanted, some kind of weird rite of passage. But when it's a young woman and an older man, we know just through the headlines in society how sometimes that's processed. You have a unique role in this, hand in bringing this story, but also, as I said, a survivor of sexual assault. Yeah, no, I mean, my situation was a little different right. because it wasn't with a... A teacher, but it doesn't matter because it's still an abuse of trust, an abuse of power, um, and you know, for me and and what I think we were able to capture is that it it's actually it's what's the most traumatizing uh, thing for survivors is often not the act itself, mm -hmm. but it's the aftermath. Yeah, and. And I think, you know, a, a lot of the show is about that aftermath and, and the how, how confusing and complicated it is to see yourself as a victim, um, especially for men. As women, 
You know, we're, we're often told we're victims, so it's easier for us to accept that, but not the case for men. Right, and Kate, I mean, to bring something so controversial to the conversation, I mean, as an actor, has to have, it'd be a double-edged sword because you want that challenge through your, your gift, but it will come with, again, people having those heated debates that we love to have over something that can be uncomfortable, but a necessary conversation. Yeah, you know, it's been interesting because a lot of people have asked me, um, you know, were you concerned about playing this role? Like, did you, did it take you a long time to decide whether or not to play her? And I, I don't know, I could be wrong, but I feel like that question maybe isn't asked all that often to, you know, if you can think of a great male character on a very controversial show, right. you know, uh, Tony Soprano or... Um, oh, the list goes on and on. We'd have to yeah. extend the show if we went through the <laughs> list, right? <laughs> exactly. So I don't know. I just find that interesting that people want to ask me if I thought yeah. that somehow it was um, a problem to make believe that you're some... You know, I'm an actor. Yeah. I'm going to Well, play that's what you do. Things. No, I think it's incredible in that it ignites a conversation. Clearly, you're an actor and that's what you do. And it's always, I, I imagine, rewarding when something as important as this um, is brought to light through. What a, what a great script, though. Thank you for joining us. We greatly appreciate it.